Hello Libra, welcome to your 2020 reading. This is a general reading, general messages, and I'm going to do the first part of the year first, January to June, and then July to December. So, you know, it's it's going to be a bit general. If you want a uh, more detailed reading, you can go to my website and you've got six month uh, or a love or career or love and career, 12 month overview, okay? As a personal reading. Okay. So, let's begin. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Signs. January to this to June 2020. January to June 2020. Okay, right. Ooh. All right, there's a few things here. It may not be for all of you. Check your moon rising. Um, okay, from January to till June 2020, we've got here some obstacles, yeah, and challenges starting and it's to do with some truth that is going to come out there could be some deception around you or people that envy you okay and they may uh, it could be with something that you're creating this is fertility something that you've been working on something that you've been nurturing something that you've been creating or it could even be a truth about a, uh, a pregnancy. Um, maybe um, someone is getting pregnant or you got someone pregnant. If you are a male, Libra, I see here. Or you're going to, if you are a female, you may be finding out about this secret pregnancy. There is deception. So this pregnancy could, uh, you know, uh, be something that you for you did well I'm getting here that you may have a partner or you your partner you know the person that you've been involved with could just deceive you and get got someone pregnant or and this is coming to this is coming to light and now you're needing to also come clean about this uh, or someone is telling the truth about this um this pregnancy, this even, you know, uh, the child could be already, um, and it doesn't need to be a person that is pregnant, but um, for some, yes, but, or you already have a child with someone, okay, so that's just for some of you, um, but yeah, do be mindful of that as well, to do things right, because the truth is here, so you don't create obstacles for yourself. Libra, January till June 2020. This could be a new project. The Ace of Rods is creativity, is, is also um, starting a new business, a new, a, new, a new passionate connection here, new new passion in your life so and there is the high priestess so there could be some hidden motives or some hidden truths here someone uh, being very mysterious about their intentions or you a secret relationship i'm picking up okay the nine of cups you may not be getting your um, your needs met with someone, or you may not be uh, feeling happy, content, content. This is contentment. So you're going to start moving in. A, I feel that you start moving in a different direction. Some of you even um, are going to travel a lot or even move. I see. Uh, it could be involved with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Especially Pisces here with the High Priestess. There's a lot of, um, especially with the water signs, they could get really, really jealous, really jealous. 
they can get very jealous and there is back back and forth um, back and forth wow yeah conflict with someone here like a lot of arguments fiery feisty person they don't need to be a fire sign but they're definitely feisty they definitely can go to war <laughs> yeah you know they can cause um a real drama here in your life i mean it's because of the um the jealousy so you could be there someone is finding out the truth and you need to uh, overcome these obstacles here ah. wow the ten of cups this could be someone that you're already involved or um you know not getting your needs met or someone is not getting their needs met in a, it could be even family okay this is your home your family you may uh, you may want to move out, some of you. The Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your energy and could be another air sign. This is um, movement, fast decisions, okay? Um, what's it called? Oh, hasty decisions. Is that how you say it? Yeah, very... Um, suddenly, yeah, you're moving out like that. Suddenly, I'm moving on, you know. Suddenly, um, you're getting out of a situation to to better uh, your life, to better, to go after what you, it is that you want here. Ten of Swords, yeah, there is definitely needing to recover from this betrayal. What you're leaving behind is some pain and you need to get up, get up and go. You're getting up and, and going in the first part of the year. So let's see what else is here. Libra. Okay, I just heard here, some of you, if you're giving birth, all right, um, do take time to recover, do take time to recover and avoid stressful situations because especially if you, if you if just for the ones that have, um, you know, gave birth, or are giving birth in the first part of the year, okay? Do um, look after yourself properly, okay? After you having um, the baby. She who prepares and preparing well. Um, also is telling you really to prepare for what's coming. Strategize, see what you're going to do to overcome these obstacles that you're going to face going to be different for for all of you only uh, a personal reading can really get into your situation but you can have an idea of what of what's coming especially with time okay moving into the next year you'll start seeing what could potentially be uh, the challenge she who forgives well she who questions, she who forgives, remorse, guilt, forgiveness. Someone is asking for, for forgiveness here because they've, they've deceived you or you've deceived someone. And it's going to be, uh, you have to make a plan. How are you going to tell the truth? How are you going to um, resolve these is issues with, with the people that, you know, uh, that you, you usually have around you. This is the Ten of Cups. But you're feeling like something is out of, of balance. So your own needs need to be met. Okay. Um, 
but I'm strongly sensing here having to say uh, to, to, to this pregnancy is coming to light. This pregnancy, you know, uh, someone, it's, it's very, it can be because someone is already married or, you know, there is a is drastic um, change that comes with it and, you, you, you know, you really need to be prepared for, to overcome this and to even find out the truth, okay? Some of you is finding out the truth, others of you is telling the truth. <sighs> okay, let's see. The energy is a bit heavy. Um, Libra, January to June. What's all of these? Okay. Right, so we've got a few here. Let's see what's... Okay, could be to do with... Um... Oh, six of Wands. Okay. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just slow, slowly trying to get victory, but there is some regret. Okay, someone regrets something here. It could be in your in your. It could be work promotion. Talking about promotion. Talking about here, getting what you want, but there is. Um, needing to be um, consistent in your work but someone feels um, crying over spilled milk here five of five of cups But this again is that forgiveness. Someone is guilty. Okay, it could be a Taurus, Vega, Capricorn. I mean, we've got Earth, Fire, and Water. Yeah, Fire sign, especially in Earth. Leo, Sag, Aries, and the Ace of the Ace of Cups. It's a new love. Someone that you are going to meet or already know. It's a new beginning in your love life. It's a lot of passion. It doesn't need to be these signs, but water and fire could be a new person. There's also taking it slow. Take it slow. Because there's some things that are going to come to light to, in regards to this person um, or in regards to you. Okay. What's this guilt for Libra? January till June 2020. The King of Swords. This is, again, your energy. But could be another air sign. I want forgiveness. Seven of Swords. And the Five of Wands. Mm. I see some of you finding out what the reason why you were not intimate, the reason why you were not together so much, okay? Because this person was messing around and you're going to find out, okay? Or someone is going to find out about you, you know, that, oh, this is why we're not, we're not getting along. Or you, you, you didn't want to come see me, you know? Be intimate with me, or you'd, even if you, this person and you, um, you know, they you're married, you know, they just, um, it's like they don't really have intimacy. Okay, it could be to do with the Virgo. Five of Wands. All right, some. This person could be um, creating here, bringing in the drama of Virgo or Leo. Okay. It's like someone is trying to hold you back on your new journey. 
Someone is trying to hold you back and you're going to have to be strong in Libra. And quick. Quick with your words, quick, quick thinking, quick. Um, it's all about the sword, so it's about communication. It could be as well about strength. So some of you uh, on a new path, uh, you may have a career that you, you know, I'm getting exercise training and or even getting in uh, having more energy here to do things to yeah this is healthy body healthy mind so quick thinking you need to be uh, your mind and your body needs to be in that uh, balance so looking after yourself, your physical and your mind is very important on your journey, okay, on your new journey. All right, so let's see, Romans Angels, January to playfulness. So be careful who you play with, okay. This is, um, where's the remote? Hmm. I need to turn down the music. But. So, recapture romance in your relationship if you have been avoiding that connection. But mm, make the effort, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your expectations, okay? What you expect from them may be a little bit, you know, they may have. Uh, you know, I'm sensing the past, they may have a past, they may have, uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be um, put in, but great love is worth taking the steps you, you're guided to take. So you, you're going to, to do that and spend a lot of time together, enjoying the moment, enjoying holiday time. I did see a lot of um, travel for you. Even potentially moving, um, like um, not all of you, but potentially, yeah, move, definitely moving away from your current, um, could be even you, you're moving states or country, I'm seeing as well. So you could really, migration is here, yeah. So let's see what's in store. For the second part of the year, Libra. Or could be someone from a distance as well. You may decide to join them on that new path. Gosh, let's see. So Libra, July till December 2020. Libra, July to December, till December 2020. Stand your ground, solar plexus, trapped in fear. Conflict, um, fear to lose, fear to uh, make those sacrifices here. You need to stand your ground with people, with things. Um, yes, determination, okay? There may be some fear that could cause a defeat for some. Uh, or fearing to do something because you're scared to lose, okay? Sacrifice is also the hangman. So needing to do look at things from a different perspective and see what it is that you're going to sacrifice in a situation of yourself, of your life, your time, your, your money, your, you know? Let me take these now first. Libra, July 2020 till... December 2020. That was uh, 
strange way to come out. But it does uh, see who she who doubts. Let's see, hmm. doubting someone, having doubts, fear again. That's why I, I took them because it's, it talks the same thing: fear, trust. Not being able to trust someone, not being able to trust yourself in a situation. You need the, you need that confidence, Libra. You need to lose the fear. She who waits, patience, waiting, determination, standing your ground. Exactly. Wow, this is, the way they came out was just, you know, I mean, it's, all to do with the first uh, cards there of these deck, this this deck here. So we've got she who persists, perspective, persistent. You need to persist. You don't you don't give up, even if you lose or you may have lost before in love or whatever it is. This situation. Um, You need to lose the fear of happening again. Or someone done you wrong, or even someone. Let's see what this is in love. Libra. July till December 2020. Free yourself. Romantic feelings. So feeling a little bit trapped because someone deceived you and you fell in love with them. Or you've hurt someone that you love. And it could be finances and career issues as well here. And fear because of your finances. Maybe this deception can cause a separation. And if you are married, it can affect your finances. Okay. It's time to take back control of your life and stop wearing a false mask. If you are wearing a false mask or, um, you know, uh, overcome these obstacles that you're going to, you, you're facing here and follow your, follow your heart, basically. Financial issues are a factor. Free yourself. Yeah, see, some, some of you are stuck with the finances and unable to follow what you want in, in terms of relationships, okay? Be with the person that you want because you don't have enough or you don't feel, or this person doesn't have, doesn't feel that they're ready comfortably and financially comfortable to do that. I'm strong there. And the tower. Ooh. All right. So be be mindful of that. Uh, the property business with the tower card. Okay. Something to do with the property, property business, selling a pro property, uh, finances and career could just blow up a bit there. Um, I was getting. Libra, oh, I forgot the message. There was something else. Someone is blocking you to um, follow your your heart. Basically, it could be a, a Aquarius involved, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, feeling like you have to defend yourself. And protect yourself also. Oh well, definitely protecting yourself if you don't want get don't want to get anyone pregnant. Okay, or get pregnant. <laughs> um, yes, definitely protecting yourself here. No victory with this um, situation of a new beginning because of. 
the deception because of the finances, okay? So, oof, Libra. Uh, there could be also an ex-partner that could be very jealous and could cause a lot of drama with your new person, okay? I'm seeing that here. Could block your happiness. They could be blocking your happiness. Also, uh, about the healing of the defeat. Wanting to go back and um, trying to heal those wounds. The five of pentacles you feel left out in the cold or leaving them out in the cold and moving on. You're moving away from a situation that you cannot, uh, cannot... It's like you're not hiding, but... You're leaving them out in the cold. The best thing to do if someone is really, you have to stand your ground. So you really have to um, leave them in the cold. Okay. And start something new. A judgment is a release. Maybe you have to say no here to someone. Okay. We've got the King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And a new beginning in passion. Some of you are going to meet a water sign, but <clears throat> you're feeling a little bit rejected here. Are you... Uh, You can't get this uh, to begin. You have to make judgment is here. You have to make a final decision to do. I am seeing present and past love. Present new for some of you. You're going to start a new relationship. But your past or, or someone's past is going to interfere. But then you've got that deception there with finances and... Um, a romantic connection. Yeah, we've got the tower. And someone looking at what is um, actually falling apart, the relationship, the situation is kind of falling apart. You need to, there's a lot of anxiety about uh, this major shakeup. This, there's a big shakeup in your life, um, Libra. And we're not gonna have you can't you can't put it off anymore. Okay, you can't be indecisive. You're gonna have to do something about it. There's no way that you can avoid with the tower card. The universe is um, finally um, trying to res to you know to encourage you to resolve this. This is what I'm getting. Encourage you. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely someone not wanting you to be with another or this person's past. But there is, I feel that with the tower here, this card also in general, not in love, there's someone that is uh, trying to betray you and distract you from your goal. And try to, in the back of, uh, no, they're doing things behind your back. All right, I'm going to end it here because it's already 27 minutes. All right, Libra, happy new year. Take care, okay? If you want a personal reading, get at me. Take care, bye-bye.